things are just kind of coming at me fast. Mm -hmm. And I, I haven't been able to process everything yet, but I do believe you have been affected, yes, as a young man, very young. Yeah, well, I, you know, I just... Uh, I know that to be true. Look, at, can you see the, yeah, the see chili that. bumps? Yeah. Oh, the chili bumps! <laughs> Oh my goodness. From just, yeah, it's just that. a story. Look I'm at that. You. That is freaking amazing. Okay, well, I was born in Slayton, Texas. Slayton? 1937. And uh, whenever I was uh, about nine, uh, nine years old, uh, Daddy wanted to be a cowboy, and he was a cotton farmer down there. And so he wanted to move to Colorado, and so came up here and looked around and found this place and uh, I've been here ever since and then uh, I, I graduated high school in 1955 and then I wasn't going to go to college but uh, a buddy of mine wanted to take a uh, take a test to see if he could get uh, uh, some help uh, scholarship and he wanted me to just for uh, uh, support to go along with him and so I did and uh, I took the test too and, and of course there was no pressure on me at all and he was really under a lot of pressure and so and ended up I got, I got the scholarship and uh, he didn't and then I still wasn't going to go to college and I talked to a teacher and said, you're crazy if you don't, you got a scholarship. So then I did and uh, I went to two years and I, I took building trades. And I thought I could use that out here on the ranch, which I did. And, uh, and then at that time, the, they had the draft yet for, uh, for the army. And uh, so I figured, I'm going to have to go anyway, so I volunteered for the draft. I was too young, but I volunteered, and so they took me And What was, year was that? Pardon? What year? Uh, that was right after I got out of college. That would have been in uh, uh, 1957 or 58, probably 58. What did you go to college for? Uh, for building trades. That's something you majored in? Uh, yeah, I majored in that, yeah. Yeah, and that, that was a good course because we went, uh, I had to take my regular courses to go through college, but then I also took uh, like blueprint reading and uh, construction, and then two days a week we would go out and actually build a house, work on a house. So we got the actual experience. So that was really a good course. And uh, so then uh, after that, then I went to the Army and uh, I ended up in Germany. And uh, I wanted to, you know, they, they give you a, three choices what you want to be, or they did at that time. And so I wanted to get in construction or uh, engineering or something like that. And, so we took tests for three days, and at the end of the, the three days, they told me I would be a battalion supply clerk. And uh, so then I had to go to advanced training for that. And, uh, and I think that was uh, six weeks. And after that, then they shipped us to Germany. And. Uh, so that, that was good. I got to see Germany, and then I took leave. I went to Paris a couple times, and Amsterdam. I went all over the country there on my leave. And that was another thing. When I was on leave, uh, those train stations, uh, those trains are flying by, and uh, the platform goes right up to them. And, I was standing there just kind of looking down and here was a train coming and uh, all of a sudden I lost my balance and I started to head over in front of that train. But 
there was an arm reached out and grabbed me. I turned around and I didn't see anybody. It was so strange. Really? You were so you were standing on the on the very edge? Yeah, I was standing on, on the very edge, which was kind of dumb to And go. you were just looking down at you lost your balance because of that? I guess and a train was coming and I was just looking over there watching it come. And you looked too far. All of a sudden I went like that. Wow. But something somebody grabbed me and pulled me back. I was fine, but I looked around. I couldn't see anybody. So anyway, uh, then after my two years, I came back. And uh, then I started farming and ranching. And of course, it wasn't paying off. Uh, you couldn't make a living at it very well. So then I got into... Uh, construction, heavy equipment When was this, that you couldn't make a living ranching? Well, see, we were still trying to pay for the place. This place here? This place okay. right here. And what year was this? Well, that would have been, uh, that would have been about 1960, something like that. Okay, I, and remind me again, when you guys moved on to the place, uh, you were about nine, what year was that? That would have been, uh, let's see, Nine, uh, um, 1946. 46, yeah, okay. Yeah. So anyway, uh, it was a tough go, and uh, so uh, I had to go out and get a job too, and I did. And uh, then a lot of times I would I would come home from work and and. Uh, and maybe go out and bale hay or something during the night. Uh, so it was a struggle, but it, it worked out okay. And then uh, during, during the construction, uh, we, we, we did a lot of uh, trenching, putting in pipelines for cattle, building dams, uh, erosion control dams, and all that kind of stuff. We, uh, the guy I worked for had uh, dozers, backhoes, trenchers, loaders, uh, scrapers, and all that kind of stuff. Here in Los Angeles County? Yeah. Yeah, and of course we worked all over. We worked uh, around this area, Kim, Branson, uh, just all over. And uh, But he was, he was kept busy just about all the time. 